Hey guys, welcome once again to another video review for uh, BuyMeAnIPhone.com. I'm Omar C, and today's video review is sponsored by Ringtone Feeder. Now, Ringtone Feeder is a weekly automated service that delivers ringtones directly to your iTunes library, and these ringtones are exclusively produced and optimized to sound really great on the iPhone. So if you want to learn more about that, go to RingtoneFeeder.com, or you can watch the introductory video about Ringtone Feeder at the end of this review. Okay guys, so go check that out. So the product I'm showing you today is a product from Kensington, and it is the Kensington Visor Car Kit, Bluetooth Visor Car Kit for the iPhone and other uh, any other cell phones that may use uh, Bluetooth. So a really cool product. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you the unboxing and what comes with the package here. And then we'll go to my car and I'll show you the actual, uh, I'll give you the actual demonstration of how this product works. Okay. So let's go to the other camera now. All right, guys, so here is the box that comes with the uh, the Kensington hands-free visor car kit for the iPhone and other Bluetooth-enabled phones. So let me go ahead and take it out so you can see what comes in the packaging or in the box. Ah, there we go. So we got this. Take that off. There's all the guts inside. So this is a... Take this top it off. Okay. Plastic, plastic, plastic. So we got in here, we got some manuals on how to use this stuff. We've got another thing for if you want to get the, uh, the USB cable. It doesn't come with it, so if you want to purchase another one, it gives you a little information about that. So we got this here. So here is the actual visor kit. It goes uh, in your car. And the cool thing about this is that it comes with two batteries. So here's one battery. The other one's right here. Just pop it out and pull it out. So that you can actually have two batteries with you. And each of these will give you about 10 hours of talk time. So, you know, if one dies up, one dies and like you pop the other one in when you're in the car, you're good to go if you're like on a long trip or whatever. I'm not sure if you'll be doing a lot of talking, but hey, it's nice to have. And we need to just pop it right back in there. So it comes with the extra battery. And it comes with the, the cigarette lighter charger, USB chargers. You can use this with your iPhone or any other um, any other devices that have a, a USB cord that can charge it up. Plug it into the car, and this is the actual charger for the um, for the batteries. Let me pop this out so I can show you guys. I just pop it right into there. Let me pull this one out. It's a little bit easier. Like that bam. Pop it in there. Plug it in, it'll change to, uh, I think it starts at red and it changes to blue when it's done. You just pop it out and you're ready to go. You put in your little, uh, little device and then it's, it's charged up. Okay? So that's all the stuff that comes with it. Really cool. A couple extras here and there. So let's talk about, oh, I'm sorry. Let's talk about the unit here. Pretty, it's a really, uh, pretty lightweight, pretty small. It comes in this dark, darker gray color. And so you can see the speaker in there. It's a pretty loud speaker. I'll give you guys a demo of this in my vehicle in just a second. So let me just show you all the stuff close up and everything. You have your microphone right there, your volume slider. You have your on switch. You just press it once to turn it on. If you need to sync it, you hold it down uh, for, I believe, 10 seconds or so. It'll start to strobe. And you got that strobe right here. And uh, the battery also goes in here. And the cool thing is you can actually program this. You can use this to program to, uh, I think, up to three devices. So you can pair it up with three devices, and if you have other people in the car that have the device, one of the devices is paired up with it, you can just press the cycle button, and it will jump over to the other uh, the other item that's also paired up with it, so you can swap it, which is really cool. You have three three buttons here, so you can program channel. You can program three phone numbers in here. So if there's someone you always calling up, your wife, your friends, your sister, whatever, you can automatically have it paired up. So when you, when you turn it on, you just press the button, and it dials it up automatically for you. You don't have to take your phone out or anything. And we need to hang up, the, hang up the phone call. There's actual button right here. You can't see it. It's not, it's not really. That's not really the button, but it's underneath it, so it's like it's real loose. So you can click down on it. So that hangs up the phone calls, and that little light will let you know that the the piece is actually on. So this has a built-in noise canceling microphone. So the, the microphone quality, from what everyone tells me, is pretty good. It doesn't have any problems hearing me as long as it's positioned in the right place. Uh, the speakerphone is pretty good. Not 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 really outstanding uh, audio quality, but I mean. Most of these, most of these systems aren't going to sound really, really awesome because it's still, it's still your phone. You're just listening to your phone through the speaker, but it's still pretty decent. It gets pretty loud, and I'll show you that also, like I said in the car. But uh, yeah, overall, it's a pretty cool product, and it's, um, it's lightweight. It's small. It doesn't take up too much space on your visor when it's on there. It's only about that big. So even when you're dropping down your visor, depending on um, how you do, how you drop your visor, it might get in the way of your view. 
and I'll show you how, where I'm talking about in my car. But either way, it's not that big. Obviously, it's not that a big piece of equipment, so it doesn't take up too, too much space. So that's it. It's made of plastic, and uh, overall, pretty good product. So there's another point to bring out about this is that um, if you, it has an auto off sensor, so whenever the uh, the phone is away from it from the car it, to preserve the battery life it automatically turns off by itself which is kind of useful because I'm sure many of you guys have probably left your Bluetooth on for too long and forgot that to turn it back off so this will actually have an auto off feature on it so it will take care of that for you. So Let's go ahead and take this to the vehicle and I'll go ahead and do a little test run and show you uh, so you can hear the, the sound quality of how it works in the vehicle okay. Let's go to the other camera now. Alright guys so now I'm in the car and so now I'm going to give you a little demonstration. Got the thing, the kit right here. Kensington Visor Bluetooth kit and so usually it would go like this on the bottom of here like so. As you can see it has a pretty nice long thing there to grab the back of it. So it will go like this but since uh, I want to demo it for you I'm going to pull it down and flip it around. I'll just put it upside down so you can actually get it, you can actually see it. So uh, the on switch is right here, the battery compartment is right here. you got your three programmable uh, speed dials, I already set that up. Microphones built into the, oh where's the microphones right here on the, on the front got my volume switch right here on the bottom and so that's the button it's used to hang up so let's go ahead and turn it on real fast let's see if it syncs up to my phone my phone should oh yeah it's on I thought my phone would turn on okay the light came on so this is synced up with my phone right now so let's go ahead I'm gonna give uh, Tom from buy me an iPhone give him a call and uh, see if he answers so you can hear the sound quality of it. Let's see if it works. Yep. There we go. Is this Omar? This is Omar. From buymeaniphone.com? Yes, it is. Is this Tom? Oh, I am so honored that you're calling me today. Well, you should feel that way. What are you up to, man? Oh, uh, just sitting here getting ready to shoot some reviews. What are uh, you doing? Excellent. Sounds good. I'm shooting the uh, the Bluetooth Visor Kit review right now. Oh, very nice. How does it sound? It sounds pretty good. How do I sound on your end? Am I pretty clear? Uh, yeah, it sounds, uh, sounds like you're on normal phone on this side. Sweet. Excellent. All right, man. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right. Catch you later, Omar. All right. See you. You're a god. It's true. Say hello to your mother for me. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> there you go. So the microphone is pretty good. Like I mentioned before, it is noise, uh, what is it called? Noise canceling, noise canceling feature? Yeah, so the microphone does pick up pretty well. It's, from, it's pretty much what I've heard from a lot of people that have been using uh, this piece to talk to, like my wife and Tom and other people. Um, overall, it doesn't get too, too loud. Uh, obviously, you have to turn off this music and stuff in your car when you're talking on it. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear very well. And the other thing I noticed, too, is whenever it's in this position here, and this, isn't, and this isn't really a problem with this particular unit, but just, you know, these types of units that sit here. Whenever you're driving in traffic and you want to, for me, I always kind of lower my thing like this. It kind of, it's in the way a little bit. So you might want to make sure, you know, which where you're going to put it in position in case you are in the middle of traffic and it's a sunny day. I don't usually flip my thing like this. I usually keep it like this, so it's like right in my way right there. But obviously, if you're driving and you're going to be using it like that, well, they're not going to hear you very well because the microphone's pointing away from you and the, the, the speaker's pointing against the glass. But that's just, you know, that's not really a problem with this. That's just something that maybe some people may find kind of annoying to deal with when it comes to these types of visor kits. Overall, this is a really good product. Kensington did a good job on it. And the uh, microphone sounds good. The audio quality is decent. It's not um, incredibly awesome or anything like that, but it does sound very good. And you can hear, obviously, just like you, like I demonstrated right now with Tom, you can hear everything that's going on. So overall, really good product. And so uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching another video review on buymeaniphone.com. See you later, guys.